Wait, what the hell am I doing? As far as I know, Saw Delino is still a Burnley player in my FM save. Oh, come on, even I come up with better chance than that. So I actually never showed you what happened in the Everton game in the last episode, so I'm still not going to show you what happened in the Everton game in the last episode because, as you can see, I got thrashed again. I think what's more annoying, other than the fact that Michael Kiley is now injured, is the fact that they actually called him a key man. He is definitely not a key man because he's a reserve player at best. So we have Cholton Athletic at home in the FA Cup 4th round next. Uh, last season I made the FA Cup 4th round and, well, it didn't end well, did it? Just fuck off. Just fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm releasing everyone. So yeah, we gotta put that right, haven't we? Ben Haim, a danger. The only danger he is is to his own net. So despite me actually saying, you know, we have to win, I've actually played a bit of a weakened team. Yeah, but surely Saw Delino and Big Shola should actually win me the game by, what, the 10th minute? Ah, shit. Oh, no, no, the referees are on my side again. As the number of episodes goes up, so does the number of boring first halves. Well, at least this match gets more action than my bed does. Was that literally it? I think looking back on the stats, we definitely deserve to win. Wow, talk about an overreaction. Honestly, I can't understand how they can be devastated with me keeping a clean sheet at home. I swear this game never wants me to win a trophy. And welcome to another instalment of who has proudly lost to injury now. And we find out this week it's the German centre-back Robert Hoof who is out for three months. See, the thing is, people are asking me to do a third season with Burnley, but how am I going to do a third season if I get relegated? Oh, would you look at that? Blackburn has still only won one match all season, and guess who that was against? I honestly don't know how many more times I have to play Spurs in this series. Can't they get relegated? What kind of noise did I just make there? Relegated. Oh, it only took us four minutes to concede this time. So we've just equalised. Wait, what? I think it's fair to say that on the balance of things that we actually do deserve to be drawn at half time. There's honestly no point in me ever writing a book because everyone would know the ending. I swear Tottenham are possibly the shittest team I've ever played. All I'm doing is just getting Bakuna's hopes up like girls do to me. So our last game of the episode is against Crystal Palace away. We beat them twice last season and we also beat them this... No, we drew them last season. No, this season. Oh, fucked it up, haven't I? Let's just move on before the embarrassment carries on going at the level it is currently at, which is very high. Have you noticed that every episode always seems to have a winnable game? So, I mean, we have, like, you know, Stoke, Man United, uh, Real Madrid, you know, those kind of teams. I think Crystal Palace is the team we can beat in this episode. Wait, what? What? Let's give it up for Proudy for fucking up another record. So considering Matt Gilks is the only keeper I have left until Tom Heaton comes back in February, I've decided to go for this goalkeeper from Belgium. And hopefully, I have enough room. Get room, because his name's... (laughs) 